I look like such an egg right now. channel if you're new here thank you so much for joining me i would love if you click that subscribe button i would love to have you back from more of my videos i make videos on drum school auditions i'm doing loads of vlogs i'm starting a new series very very soon i also post loads of content over on tiktok so if you'd love to follow me over there i would really really appreciate it and on instagram as well there's loads of daily content on both of those platforms and i upload a video once a week over here if you are already subscribed thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos it means so so much to me you guys will literally never understand how much it means to me. Now we've got all that out of the way. For today's video, I am going to be talking about agents. I have been getting loads of DMs from people going into third year at drama school, from people maybe in first or second year, just thinking ahead to the future and asking about agents and if I could share some things that I have learned about agents, how I got my agent, all those sorts of things. So as always, I've made some notes and I'm just going to have a chat with you guys. If you have any questions that you don't feel I've addressed in this video, pop them down below in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my abilities and without further ado let's get started sirens i love london Okay, so I guess the first thing is what is an agent and what does an agent do for you? For this video, I'm specifically talking about musical theatre agents. I know people have agents in other industries and managers. I'm talking about musical theatre performance agents in this video. So what does an agent do for you? What does my agent do for me? My agent puts me up for jobs. So she will submit me through Spotlight or through some of her contacts for auditions. And then hopefully I then get those auditions and then hopefully I book the job. Honestly, guys, manifest it for me. Manifest it for me. I'm going to book a job please. Another great thing about an agent is they have so many industry contacts. Obviously, this is dependent on who your agent is, how long they've been in the industry for, their reputation, all these kind of things. But agents often have contacts with casting directors, producers, TV companies, if you're interested in auditioning for TV and film, film companies, all these kind of things, and they will help to push you for jobs. So say your agent puts you forward for something, they will help to push you and try their very, very best to get you in that audition room. So let's say you've been offered a job and then the contract comes through. Now contracts are just so confusing and I feel like a lot of the time there's stuff there that can trick you out and blah 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 and things that you don't know to look for. So your agent can come in there and they will help negotiate for you. They'll negotiate the pay, negotiate the terms, negotiate things on the contract. If there are things that you're worried about on the contract they'll be able to talk you through it. So that's another big thing is they're there to support you. Your agent is someone that you should be able to go to about things that you're worried about in your career, about auditions about things like that and they should be there and be a support network for you which is really really amazing and I've really experienced that with my agent obviously all of these things I'm talking about are just my experience and finally I'd say another good thing about having an agent is they can help to kind of guide your career I know I've had lots of chats with my agent about what I want to achieve in my career and if my goal is here then what do I need to do stepping stones along the way to get there maybe what things we shouldn't do that might hinder me getting there all those sorts of things are really really important and as I said, I don't know if I explained it properly, if you are to book a job through your agent, then your agent will take commission on the money that you make. That is how agents make their income, is commission based. I'm pretty sure every agent is commission based. And yeah, so they will take a certain percentage of what you make from that job. And for me, it varies from film, TV, advertisements. It's all different percentages because obviously different industries pay different amounts of money. So they're things to look into as well. I think the kind of standard commission is somewhere between 12.5 and 15 percent so somewhere in that sort of region is where you're looking moving on to do you need an agent the easy answer is no you do not need an agent to book a job in performing also having an agent does not guarantee you to book a job in performing you could have the world's best agent whoever that may be and it doesn't guarantee you a job if there's not a job out there that's right for you and if you don't do well in the audition then you're not going to book it you can submit yourself for jobs yourself we have have this thing as performers called spotlight you really really need to join spotlight if you want to work especially in musical theatre and i get emails every single day of spotlight breakdowns that are coming out obviously my agent gets these emails as well so she submits them for me however if i wasn't signed with an agent then i could submit myself for a lot of these there are some auditions that will not come out through spotlight and will only go like directly to agents or people that they know and trust but majority of jobs come out on spotlight and majority of jobs you can 
submit yourself without an agent. I have a friend who hadn't signed for an agent at that point and got through so many rounds of a massive, massive show and she didn't have an agent. So it just shows you can totally get in the room for big things without being signed with an agent. I personally feel as a grad, it's possibly even more important to have an agent though. Coming out into this industry, it's crazy, it's mad. I feel like I wake up every day and I'm like, what the heck am I doing? And knowing that I've got someone there to help guide me in my career and support me and put me forward for jobs is really, really, really helpful for me. So personally, if you're a grad watching this or you're about to graduate and you're kind of deciding like oh maybe I don't want to sign with an agent because I don't want to give commission to someone I would really recommend it personally because I just think it's a really great place to start also coming out of drama school you won't have loads of contacts in the industry so having your agents contacts will be really really important for getting you in the room for things but yeah this is obviously just my personal opinion though like everyone's opinion is valid but you do not need an agent to succeed in this industry definitely not the next thing is how do you get an agent so there are multiple different ways Ways. Firstly, it's if you're in drama school, then you will probably be doing an agent showcase, an end of year musical, all those kind of things. So invite agents to come and see you. Write them an email and say, I'm performing in this show as XYZ on these dates. I would love to invite you and give you a ticket as I would really love to be represented by your agency. And hopefully they will come and watch you. This is the same if you are in an external production. You don't have to be in a production in drama school. As I said, it's totally possible to book a job without an agent. So some people will book a job without an agent and then while they're in that contract decide actually I think I would like an agent so they will then invite agents that they're interested in to come and watch their performance and then hopefully gain representation from that. However if you are not in your final year at drama school and doing shows and showcases or you're not in a show and you just really decide you really really want an agent email them. I would suggest writing them an email make sure it's definitely personal don't write dear all agencies in the world I think it's really nice if you make it personal. Attach your headshot if you have a vocal reel attach that a dance reel a performance reel basically send them as much footage of you performing as you can give them the best idea of who you are as a performer and what you want to do because at the end of the day they want to represent someone who's passionate and got drive and has goals so show them what you are as a performer send them everything you've got obviously only the stuff that you're happy with give them a range of things and yeah email it to them some people you will never hear back from and that's okay but hopefully some will get back to you and some will offer you representation. If you are in any of these ways successful and agents reply to you and say that they would like to have a meeting with you, it's mostly common to have a meeting with an agent and then after that they may offer you representation. If they do, you then are totally free to go away, have a think about it, consider any options that you have and then decide if you would like to sign with them or not. Next up is how do you choose what agent is right for you? So this is a really, really difficult one. So let's say that, oh my gosh, you're in an amazing situation, you've got five agents that you think you love and you're really, really interested in and they want to represent you. How on earth do you know which one's right? This is a really, really, really tricky thing and you have to just go with your gut, I think, a lot of the time. Some of the things that I liked doing when I was choosing who I wanted to sign with was I looked at what their clients were doing. Were their clients doing things that I would be interested in doing? Were their clients getting jobs? That's obviously something that's really, really important. If they have loads of clients booking loads of jobs, then it shows they have really good contacts and they're working really really hard for you but also in that same breath if their clients are doing jobs that you're thinking oh I wouldn't really want to do that then maybe they wouldn't be right for you you also need to get on with them well as a person your agent is not there to be your best friend I know some people like to have a best friend relationship with their agent and that's totally chill at the end of the day it is a business relationship and they are working for you you are working with them you're working together to get yourself those jobs it needs to be someone you can get along with personally when I had my meeting with my agent I just felt the vibe straight away and I totally knew that she understood me as a person she knew what I wanted to do with my career and for me that is what was most important because especially as a grad I wanted an agent that I felt I could go to and ask things if I was worried or if I was concerned about something I wanted someone who would be open and honest with me and finally who is my agent how did I get represented by them what do I think of them firstly I think they're wonderful <laughs> and my agent is Hayley Hills at Simon and How. I loved Simon and How as an agency. The way Simon and Howe works is each agent represents people exclusively. So my agent is Hayley, but I have a friend at Simon and Howe who's represented by another agent, but we're all under the same brand.
bracket of Simon and Howe, if that makes sense. The way I got my representation with Hayley at Simon and Howe is I emailed loads of agents when I was in third year at Erdang. I remember I did it for like two days solid and I emailed way too many people. Looking back now, it was silly the amount of people I emailed, but I think I was just terrified that no one would want to represent me. So I emailed so many. Only email agents that you're interested in signing with because there's no point in like wasting their time reading your email if you wouldn't actually be that interested in it. So that's something that looking back, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. So be selective with who you want to email but also don't be really really single-minded that you only have like five agencies you want to sign with consider lots of people but also don't email 4,000 like I did I got a few agents interest through bring it on and then I had meetings with them some of them very kindly offered me representation and then I got a few interviews meetings I don't know what you want to call them interview sounds a bit formal meetings chats with some agents that I emailed as well and Haley was actually my final meeting I had a couple of offers of representation which I was so happy about and I got my final meeting was with Hayley at Simon and Howe and I remember when they replied to my email saying they wanted to have a meeting with me I thought I was gonna die because I loved Simon and Howe as an agency and I just didn't think that they would want to represent me I don't know why it just seemed like crazy and yeah I had my meeting and it was so so good and I just felt the vibe straight away with Hayley and I just knew that that was the right person for me to go with at that time I absolutely love all the other agencies that offered me and there was another one in particular that I was seriously considering against Simon and Howe but for me it was purely in the end based on who I felt I got on most with as a person and that was Hayley for me so yeah that is why I chose to sign with Hayley at Simon and Howe and I think that's all I have to say. I hope that this video has been helpful for you guys as always I just ramble in these kind of advice videos and as always as well I am not God I am just some random random gal on the internet having a chat make your own informed decisions my opinion is not the be all and end all I do not have the right opinion it's just my opinion so please get advice from other people go with your gut and go with what feels right for you if you have enjoyed this video please use my big thumbs up to let me know it really helps me out and helps me to get to know what videos you guys are enjoying and if you haven't already then please do smash that subscribe button because I'd love to have you back for more of my videos and I'll hope to see you very very soon bye Bye.